Let's look at some steps in Photoshop that we need to take to ensure that our file is ready for print. First, let's make sure the document is in CMYK mode. And you shouldn't have to change anything with the channels. It should be on 8 bits. <clears throat> CMYK is cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, which is what printers use. RGB is for digital or web color. The next thing we want to check is the resolution. If we go to image, image size, you can see that our resolution is at 300 pixels per inch or it would be dots per inch. 72 is usually web, so you want to make sure it's 300 and at the size, in our case inches, that the final image should be. Another thing you want to know about this image is it's a full bleed image that goes directly to the edge. So whenever you print this and you trim it out, if you print it on white, you there's a possibility if you don't trim it correctly that you're going to see a little white edge. So we want to give this image some bleed, and if you don't have it already, a common bleed size is 1 8 of an inch or 0.125. In order to create a bleed for this image, we'll need to go to Image, Canvas Size. Make sure that our anchor is centered, and we're going to go click on Relative. We need to add a quarter of an inch, which is actually one eighth of an inch per edge. And depending on what your background color is, if it's solid, it's going to be much easier to create. Otherwise, you need a separate layer with your file that the bleed color will be. I'm going to do a transform and enlarge the gold background. So now we're ready to save this and send it to the printer, meaning the printer who is going to print it. If we are printing it at home, we can go to File, Print. And a few things I want to note are under Print Marks, Printing Marks, you will select Corner Crop Marks. And under Functions, you want to click on Bleed and type in your 0.125 inches. Click OK and you're ready to print. Otherwise, you can save this as either a JPEG or a PDF. In this case, I would recommend a PDF. File Save As. I'll save it as a flat copy. We don't need the layers. And you can leave the color profiles um, checked. Make sure you have it on high quality print. And it was already modified to remove the Photoshop editing. Make sure compression's on 300, compression JPEG, and maximum quality. Everything else should be okay. And we'll just want to let the printer know that we have that eighth inch bleed so they know where to trim unless we create crop marks. So if we need to create the crop marks, command click the label or control click on a PC. So this is where we need the trim to be. So I'm going to create a new layer and fill it with my background, which is command delete to fill. Or if you go to your bucket tool, you can just fill it with the color. And now we're going to do view new guides from shape. And if we hide that layer and deselect command D. So now I'm going to go to my line tool and zoom in. Grab the line again. So 
So I've got a fill of white. Let's do a weight of one. I'm going to draw a line. And now I'm going to duplicate that. Command, Command J. And I'm going to align this shape Now we need to move this line over to our other guide. Enter. I'm going to select both layers and do Command G to group those. Zoom out. And let's do Command J, Command T to transform. And I'm going to move this to the bottom outside of the the trim area. And now I'm going to group these and duplicate Command J again. So I have all four of these little lines selected. Let's do a Command T. We're going to rotate 90 degrees. And now we need to align these to the other guides. I'm going to go ahead and merge all these. Command E. And that way I can just select these with my selection tool up here. Marquee. Make sure you're on the crop layer. Command T. And just to make sure we're out of the trim area, I'm going to do a selection. to cut some of the little white marks. If I hide guides, command semicolon, you can see now we have crop marks. And you can go ahead and save as a JPEG or PDF.